My name is Naomi Bolaños. I am a junior at Clarksburg High School and a Saplings organizer as well as advisory board member. I started Saplings with Cindy Wang, Catherine Tao, Maggie Spire, Ariana Welch, Nitya Rao, Celeste Cope, and Brianna Akumua Boateng. The idea of saplings was that through this environmental forum, we were hoping to plant seeds in the students that became involved with it. And by planting those seeds, they were going to eventually grow through our program into the environmental stewards that they wanted to be. These students and I got together and as part of One Montgomery Green, we talked about what they would be interested in trying. We decided we would start with uh, an online program to help inform, engage, educate students on environmental and sustainability issues. Noemi was one of the first students to join that effort and um, she was instrumental in helping define what we would do, how we would do it, and now our programs are run and moderated and planned by students, which really makes it unique. I cannot say enough about how proud and pleased I am with the saplings, what these students are doing, their passion, their really wanting to make a change in the environment is so phenomenal and profound. We are so proud to be a part of what they're doing. I, I was in need of a community. I was in need of a way to take hands-on action. I was learning about environmental science through my classes, but I didn't have anywhere to apply that knowledge. Really mostly though, that community aspect was so important to me because I believe that we can't make change if we don't do it all together. Youth activism is not only important to our lives, but essential. In our generation, it's no longer a thing that we do by choice. It's become a duty. It's you know, not too long before this earth rises above those two degrees and suddenly, you know, we're not going to be able to take any more steps back. That's our stream study. That's it. And then we take that up to Montgomery College. Baby, she's worked really hard on this. And I'm so proud of her for going above and beyond, joining the team, taking that next step. Thank she's you. done fantastic. I'm really proud of her today and every day. I'm Noemi Bolaños. We are the saplings and I'm a 2022 Naturally Latinos environmental champion. It's not uncommon to see crows fight with red-tailed hawks when they're in the crow's territory. Yeah, they're, they're territorial. It's called mobbing. What's this? That's another turkey vulture up there. So this is one of my favorite places to come bird in Frederick County. The people here are very welcoming and there's a lot of different types of habitat to bird here. The area is very hilly. We're kind of like at the tree line and some areas above the tree line. So there's really great opportunity to see flyovers of bald eagle, different types of vultures and other kinds of raptors. My name is Orieta de la Candelaria Estrada. I am the interim director of Amplify the Future, and I am the director of the Ray Diversity Fellowship. So Amplify the Future is a budding nonprofit organization that was founded by myself and my colleague, Taiki James. So we saw a need in the birding community and in the conservation community for a network, a scholarship, and a granting opportunity that was not available to Black and Latinx birders, as well as birders who identify as by POC. We want a future in which our communities are represented in the fields and in the areas that we spend time in. What's the quickest way to equity, to build equity? In my mind, it's money and it's education. quo in the birding community and in the conservation and environmental communities is upheld by white supremacy. It can go from extreme to the ever-present unconscious bias. I think the more 
we're able to provide opportunities for our applicant network, the more we're able to provide scholarships, the more organizations who want to join forces with us and give full ride scholarships, the more impact we'll be able to have, both incrementally short term, but also long term. My name is Orieta de la Candelaria Estrada, and I am a 2022 Naturally Latinos Conference Environmental Champion. Madre Tierra es una organización de mujeres eh, latinas inmigrantes en el área metropolitana de Washington, Maryland, Virginia. Nosotras como mujeres inmigrantes le apostamos a, a la prevención y la erradicación de la violencia de género, pero también al cuidado de la madre tierra como el primer hogar que tenemos los y las les seres humanos. Siempre estamos fomentando y haciendo mucha conciencia el hecho de, de crear nuestros propios jardines y huertos, mini huertos eh, en nuestras casas, ¿verdad? Eso ha sido un, un principio fundamental para nosotras desde nuestra fundación. El acceso a los servicios de salud sigue siendo una dificultad muy grande. Hemos tenido que crear, eh, recrear y recordar y fomentar cómo nos sanábamos eh, eh, ancestralmente o cómo nos sanamos en nuestros países donde no había médico. Entonces hemos hecho una recuperación ¿verdad? de esas prácticas eh, de, de, con una convicción política e eh, ideológica de que lo merecemos de fuera y que merecemos que el sistema nos provea servicios médicos ¿verdad? y que es un, una, es un derecho humano. Cada una de nosotras ¿verdad? tenemos un primer territorio que cuidar y son nuestros cuerpos. ¿verdad? ¿Y cómo los cuidamos? Pues previniendo cualquier forma de violencia que se, que se cometa contra estos cuerpos, ¿verdad? Tengo una intención de, de, de fomentar las conexiones con, con la Madre Tierra. Nosotras como organización hacemos un retiro anual y nos vamos a las montañas y hacemos compromisos ¿verdad? del cuidado de, de la Madre Tierra y de responsabilizarnos con tareas cotidianas básicas como el reciclaje, el, el reuso de las cosas, ¿verdad? También, entonces, a través de este retiro, nosotras hacemos siempre un llamado y concientizamos sobre eso. Eh, para Madre Tierra es muy importante hacer todo un trabajo de concientización y también de, de retorno a los valores que tuvimos en nuestra América Latina, de estar conectados profundamente a donde pertenecemos, que es la Madre Tierra. Yo soy Dilcia Molina y soy una campeona medioambiental de Naturally Latines 2022. Federico from my artist name is Maspas. Today I'm working in my studio in Arlington, Virginia, getting ready for my solo show at the Fred Schneider Gallery. Today I'm working on two pieces. One is on wood and another is a work on paper. The imagery on the wood piece is of a raccoon surrounded by earth elements, trees, water, leaves, wind. And the second one is of an owl sitting in a tree at nighttime, hooting away. I started painting walls with graffiti, with the spray can, you know, with my friends when I was in high school. There came a point when I wanted to express more than just a word, you know? Well, I've always been very inspired by indigenous art of the Americas. But I grew up like looking at these molas, feeling like the power of indigenous people. And so I started just sketching what I wanted, like what inspired me deep down inside. I think my ancestors created me to be somebody that's here to keep this message alive and keep that art style alive. Studio work compared to like mural work, they're both beautiful, you know? Working in the studio means a lot of kind of a long time, almost like hibernation. Also creating, kind of coming up with new work 
And mural work is more kind of like meeting people, uh, being on your feet, climbing up a ladder. But it's art where you're really like connecting with people. Like people will walk by you and say, hey, what is that? What are you doing? Who are you? Are you the artist? If somebody's in the studio all day painting, you don't have that kind of interaction, you know? You're not meeting little kids and handing them a brush and help, telling them to help you. So it's a big contrast, you know? I feel like in my artwork, I'm a certain kind of political. Mostly these days, my stand in my artwork is to talk about honoring indigenous peoples, honoring native land, honoring earth, honoring all living beings and living creatures. Pachamama, you know, she's speaking right now. I may not be the average like politician or something, but I try to use my voice to promote conservation, honoring this beautiful, sacred environment. Just trying to keep that idea of conscious in, um, in these days and times and more alive and more like, more connected through the heart. People are actually feeling that, that sacred energy that I think we forget. My name is Federico, my artist name is Mas Paz, and I'm a 2022 Naturally Latinos Environmental Champion.